Hello, Renee here with Joy for the Journey. Today, I'm going to do a plan with me video. We're gonna take a look at how I plan for the year, for the month, and for the week. And I wanna share with you how we just plan simply for our Charlotte Mason components slash morning work and memory time and basket time for the whole month at once and then how we plan for the whole month week by week quickly for those content area subjects like history, science, geography, things like that. And the other things like core subjects, I found it's really not necessary, at least for us, to map out exactly what we're gonna do each day. Math is usually pretty open and close, and you can use a table of contents to just check off as you do lessons and write the date, or in the curriculum I'm using, it's like an ongoing math journal where the documentation is happening within and all that will just go right in the portfolio. And then for reading, you got your reading log. And for language arts, we have this one page lesson plan and we do the same kind of activities and a rotation of key language arts skills every week. So we don't spend a whole bunch of time mapping that out. But today I'm gonna to show you how we map out those more thematic or content-based subjects like science and history and how you can do that for the whole family. And so if you write down, hey, we're gonna read this book and write about that, everybody from kindergarten to high school can do that. It's just a matter of being able to choose, well, my kindergartner is gonna do one sentence and my you know, sixth grader might be writing a paragraph or a five paragraph essay. So it's being able to just differentiate for your students or your children so that you can do family subjects together. This is how I plan for the year at a glance. And this is what the blank template looks like now. The orientation's a little bit different. So I like to know my themes for, you know, history, geography, science, what holidays will be each month, and what field trips I might go on, and what nature study topics we might focus on at a glance. And that helps me to then flesh out by the month what we'll be doing. And I feel like this might be able to be eliminated next year because now I'm able to, you know, flesh everything out more week by week, but we'll see. So first we're going to talk about how I plan by the month using this overview sheet for things like extracurricular activities, your morning time and memory work and Charlotte Mason components and your right, morning here basket. It is filled in. I did pink for people, meaning holidays, field trips, special events and co-ops where we see people. Um, not that we don't see them otherwise because we do have play dates and family things. Um, blue for extracurricular like music, PE Arts and handicrafts and for literature that is important but it's not like the seven liberal arts subjects. Then yellow for our morning time items that come to play in our focus board and our morning basket. And these are like the Charlotte Mason components. It's how I tie them in other than things that have to happen outside of morning time, like a you know, nature walk or maybe narration or picture study. So what are we doing for some of these components? Our holidays are Groundhog Day, Valentine's Day, President's Day. We have a co-op, a homeschool group, and maybe a trip to the primate sanctuary that I have to find a date for. We do Simply Piano app for piano, and we have a PE class at our co-op and do some other miscellaneous recreational activities and maybe an exercise video here and there. Um, this would be a good place to list either art things you did do or think you might do, and you could either check them off or do it in pencil and erase them if you didn't do them. You could note here, for nature study, what dates you went on your walks, and maybe any note of what things came to be a focus that relate to nature study. Up here, it's just your month and your themes. For morning time, I put our name of our hymn. We also do a catechism song here and there, or um, the Bible literacy songs, like, you know, for Ten Commandments or Fruit of the Spirit, things like that, books of the Bible. And we do an ongoing Bible story book, and then this month we might just, you know, when I do lessons like about Egypt and the stars, connect back to our knowledge of Moses, Joseph, and Abraham. And then for our memory work components slash Charlotte Mason components that are on our focus board, our Bible memory is Psalms 1, our habit is teachable, our poem is My Shadow, our art study artist is Leonardo da Vinci, and we could switch out a different art piece of his each week or one for the whole month. We'll see how that goes. For music study, it's Mozart, 
And then for language arts, the only thing I put on my board is our spelling words that I pick based on um, some lists I have. For We do calendar time. And for our memory work, we're learning the 50 states, identifying those on a map. Foreign language is Spanish. We tie those in with calendar time very lightly, like learning months, days, holiday seasons, counting, and maybe pick one other category. We're pretty light with it right now. It might happen in the morning or at lunch, but we have our you know morning basket selections, and we try to narrate at least once, do narration at least once a week, an oral one. So those components or selections for our basket can be either used as a looping system, or you could do how I'm I attempt to do it, which is assign certain books to certain days. So Monday, missionary stories and music study, meaning like little flashcards where you can identify the musical instrument um, and what family it's in. Tuesday, poetry reading and maybe a ongoing book of history, short history stories. Might not do that this month or even this year that much because we're getting our history, as you will see through our unit studies with Journey Through the Continents and Holidays. Wednesday, wisdom literature, like little short stories from Proverbs, and that can relate to habit training. And then we do like a little short reading from our DK grammar book, um, little mini lessons, parts of speech, and just punctuation, things like that. Thursday, theology, it's a theology book um, for kids. And then for science, it's our, science is a focus on Thursdays, so whatever topic we're learning about, we could read about that then or at another time in the day, and maybe that day, you know, do our nature study walk. Friday is fiction, fairy, and folk and fable, or you pick one or the other, and a picture study. Then, you know, lunch, we're done with, you know, the core subjects, so between breakfast and lunch, that's when we do that, and then you know, later on in the day, we'll come back and we'll do a snack and story. If we have tea, we'll call it Tea and Tail. And our book selections are Boxcar Kids ongoing chapter book series. And our picture books that we'll be focusing on this month are our Black History picture books. This is the weekly lesson planner section. So we have a section for week one, week two, week three, week four. Of course, if there's a fifth week, you can go on to the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Okay, this is how I set it up. I go ahead and put the date for each week. I went ahead and put the topic for history slash geography or holidays, which is Africa. The first week, the land, an overview. The second week, land and biomes. The third week, animals. And the fourth week of the month, history, um, specifically ancient Egypt. Then I do the same thing for science, earth and space every week. And now I'm going to put the specifics for science of what aspect of earth and space each week. Um, also, I put in anything I know for sure. I know every Tuesday we have a co-op, and I know that every Friday we have a homeschool group. I also put in the holidays ahead of time. All right, now I've gone through and I've marked my specific science themes for Earth and Space, Moon, Stars, Sun, Constellations for weeks one through four. And then each Thursday I put what we're going to do for each of those things. For the moon, we're going to read about the moon, a book by Gail Gibbons, start moon phase tracking and make hand shadows with a flashlight as the moon and, uh, you know, has shadows. And we'll talk about the science behind that. We'll also start memorizing the My Shadow poem by Robert Louis Stevenson to make that connection. Then week two of Earth and Space for stars, we'll read about Galileo and make a history to science connection with that famous scientist from long ago. And we will do some stargazing either with a real telescope or with the app, and he might do that on the weekend with his dad. Sometimes they go up on their roof with a ladder. It's really fun and look at the stars on the roof. And then maybe Friday for snack and story after our Deerbrook homeschool group, we can read this Black History picture book about this little boy and his father, and he's talking about asking his dad, how many stars are there? And then for this week with the sun, we'll learn about the sun, watch a video about sundials, and maybe make a sundial. And so then again, we're making a history and science connection and thinking about in terms of time and space and shadows as well with the sundial. And then week four, with we'll do earth and space, the focus being constellations, connecting back to the stars. We'll explore constellations with charts, videos, or a book. Then we will make, or he can copy a constellation. So he can make one of his own and name it or copy one of his favorite constellations using a black piece of construction paper, laying out some uh, foil sticker stars and connecting them with white chalk on the black paper. 
Right, now I filled in our history slash geography slash writing, and I made Mondays and Wednesdays the main days for that, our Africa unit study, and that color is orange. And so for this week, we're going to do an overview of Explore Africa with a book by Bobby Coleman, I believe. And we are going to do Explore Africa with GPS satellite um, app. We'll do his Africa suitcase writing. It's like shaped like a suitcase. And then we will continue that on Wednesday. Um, but today, instead of doing the GPS, that day we will open up the Atlas to the Africa page and play I Spy. And then the next week for our Africa or history unit study is instead of just focusing the land as an overview, we're going to focus in on one or two biomes. He can choose between grasslands and deserts that we'll read about. Then we'll do an opinion postcard. He gets like a little pretend postcard and he can write his opinion about one aspect. For the next week for our orange or Africa unit days. This is a holiday. I'm going to read and or watch a video about either Washington Lincoln, Lincoln or President's Day. And I noted in the morning during morning basket time to start this little book we have that kind of has little quick summaries of each president. And our theme is the African animals. So we're going to read a general book about African animals. And we're going to choose, he's going to choose one to focus on and do a little animal research booklet I made for him to complete. And then he does some writing about that. That will probably continue into this week since it normally takes more time. But usually like on our science days, I don't do writing for science. Whatever writing theme we started on Monday, we would just do again on Thursday and Friday, which by the way, on the days that we have on Fridays when we have our homeschool group, it's not an all day thing. So we still aim to do our core subjects. And then our days we do Tuesdays, it's an all day co-op. So we really have more of a four day week. Last week, it was gonna be Africa, the history focused on ancient Egypt. So we'll read about Egypt slash the pyramids and he'll probably continue his animal writing. And that will be that week. For our Friday group, we're going to have our Valentine's Day party this first week of the month. The second week of the month, I'm going to look into this safari STEM activities I saw on Pinterest. So related to African safari. And then we're going to focus on ancient Egypt this Friday. And I kind of think of it as this is the Friday before we go into it in our home. So it's kind of like we are launching into ancient Egypt with our friends. And then we go into it more in depth in our own homeschool at home. So the last thing I did was go on Pinterest. I made a Pinterest board for Africa and I put any ideas I liked for activities. And then something I added that I, you know, this is where he can like kind of pick if we want to kind of thing. Um, and then I put in activities I just really want to make sure we get to unless he really doesn't want to. One thing I added when we do African animals is there's African animal shadow art where you take a piece of paper and lay it on the ground outside and then you put your little rubber African animal um, setting on the paper and you have the sun cast the animal shadow onto the paper and you trace it and you can do several animals. You could even cast a shadow of like a little twig so that it looks like an outdoor safari scene. That's our plans for right now and I hope you enjoy this template. I will put it up on Teachers Pay Teachers for free in case it seems like something that could work for you too.